Okay? But when you're walking this Christian walk, you walk in joy. You walk in peace. Hallelujah. You walk in all the fruit of the Spirit. And when you look at the fruit of the Spirit, do you have that in your life? Do you have any joy? You know, I was looking at called 729's page, you know, and, and he says he was Jesus Christ resurrected from the dead. He said he died. He was an atheist. And Christ resurrected from the dead. But then I watch his videos, and he's just so, it's just so depressing. See? There's a spirit of depression there and oppression there. There's a spirit of control there. A witchcraft spirit on his life. And the Lord wants to free him where he can walk in joy and peace and know and victory, knowing that he's got the victory. Hallelujah. He's got the victory. See? All of us do when we're truly born again and filled with the Spirit of God. We have the victory. The church is a victorious church. It's a holy church. It's a righteous church. Hallelujah. It's a righteous people. And the word church there means people. It's a called out assembly of people. Called out of the world. We have it. But the stinking, filthy liars like Boshoff and Open Air Preacher, they'll tell you, no, you don't have it. you gotta, you got to make sure, oh, wait, you got to do this. you got to do stinking lying devils. Shut your mouth. The Lord rebuke you, Satan. The Lord is good. See, Jesus did the work. He is the great intercessor. And he calls us as Christians, as his children, to enter into session with him at the Father's right hand. Where we are seated in heavenly places with him. Hallelujah. We are more than conquerors through him who loves us. Hallelujah. Now, go back to Jude. I'm going to go to Jude here. And, and we're going to finish up with this. Because this is so vitally important that you understand this, Christian. You understand only one chapter there. Hallelujah. Verse 24 and 25. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now unto him. Unto him. Hallelujah. That is able to keep you from falling. Hallelujah. See, he's able to keep you from falling. What do you mean falling there? Like sinning? Well, yeah, he can keep you from sinning if you cry out, if you submit. See? Humble yourself and keep you from falling away. See? Keep you from falling into the pit. Hallelujah. See? And he's able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless. Faultless. Before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. You have exceeding joy. Do you have exceeding joy in your life? Are you coming before the throne with joy? Hallelujah. With rejoicing to the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and ever Amen. see we have basically we have finished the race haven't we because we're in Christ see but we have to go day by day we have to make it we have to go through he's going to bring us I know in my own life my own experience okay I backslid for nine long years. After I was saved and filled with the Spirit, I transgressed and backslid. I went the other way, doing my own thing, for nine years. Until the Lord had brought the circumstances in my life where I turned to Him and repented and cried. And I cried and wept before the Lord for, for three days, solid. Like Peter, who had denied the Lord. It's a terrible thing when you backslide and you know you're in backsliding state and you know the Word of God. And don't tell me it can't happen because I know it can happen. It happened to me, it happened to my wife. We know of other people that have happened. But see, our God is a holy God, a righteous God, a loving Father. And He didn't cast us away. Matter of fact, He preserved our lives. I know my wife tells a story about hanging off the back of a motorcycle, drunk, going 80 miles an hour down the highway. You know, God protected her, kept her from falling off that bike and dying. She was going to kill herself. God protected her, kept her. And I was in the hospital with bacterial pneumonia. I was almost dead. God protected me. And why did I get back there on the morning? Because of sin. Okay? Because of sin. My sin. That I willfully did and chose to do. Transgressing the law of God. 
and God afflicted me with bacterial pneumonia and I could not breathe for a solid week. I finally went to the emergency room. This was before I came back to the Lord a couple years before. And the Lord, He set me back on my feet. I was almost dead. They said if I would have waited another day, I would have died. And I would have went to hell. Because I was not right with God. Unless the Lord had mercy on me, which He could have had at that time. And if I would have died, He could have took me to heaven and had mercy on me if He wanted to. But He wouldn't have had no reason to, would He? None. Because I was rebellious and I was backslidden. But see, He proved His mercy by keeping me alive and bringing me back to Him. See, that is my eternal security that He is merciful, hallelujah, and faithful and just. See, He loves me. He loves my wife. He loves us. He loves the believer. He loves His children. And He will keep you. He will keep you. See, my wife made that video yesterday, Psalm 18, two and three watch that video it's a powerful video and it's got the little scene in there of the strength and the trust he is our strength and our trust hallelujah and it's got the little baby finger you know baby's hand holding on to the finger See? and that's how we are holding on to the Lord cling to the Lord when we first got together Sharon and I I had this Catholic background Catholic mentality in my head because I was raised Roman Catholic you know and, and I told my wife I said you know I said, the Lord, he, he holds us, he clings to us, he, he keeps us from fighting, he keeps us, you know, he holds us, you know, and because Sharon was saying, you got to cling to the Lord, you know, I was like, no, he clings to me, he keeps me, you know. Well, he does keep us. But I read in the Bible, in, in Psalms, David said, I cling to thee, O Lord. You know? See, we do have to cling unto the Lord, see. You do, you cling unto him. But you can't do it in the old nature. The old nature don't want to cling unto the Lord. The old nature wants to go its own way, see. Only the new nature, only the Holy Spirit in us, Christ in us, wants to cling, wants to relax in His presence and just say, Amen, Father, and rest in His love. Hallelujah. See? See, we can rest in Him. And if you haven't entered into that rest, you're trying to do the work. And you're not even in at all. And you're going to find that out at the end if you don't repent. You need to say, Lord, are these things true, what this John is saying? Is this true, Lord? Show me. It is true, I'm telling you. You have to enter into His rest. You have to say, Lord, put your zeal in me, put your fire in me, put your humility in me where I don't fear. When the devil comes with all his discouragement and fear and doubt about my salvation and everything, that I can just, just kick him right out the door. Submit to you, Lord. Submit to you. Submit to you. Submit to you. Resist the devil and watch him flee. In Jesus' mighty holy name. Amen.